The simplest form of control is an on-off switch. For example, to control the heat output from an electrical heater, we can manually switch it on or off. We could automate this, for example, with a bimetallic strip which acts as a thermostat. The strip bends as it warms up, and at a certain temperature, it will bend enough to disconnect the circuit and turn the heater off. As it cools down, it completes the circuit again, and the heating turns on automatically. We usually connect a manual switch with a thermostat so that a user can override the heating if they are too hot. We could also control a heating or cooling system with a simple on-off control. For example, if the heating or cooling demand for a room is only half of what the system can provide, then we could just turn the system on for half of the time and off for the other half of the time, perhaps every 30 minutes. This would work, but not very well, because it results in the room being too hot and then too cold, although the average temperature appears normal. To improve this, we could divide this into smaller time intervals, which would achieve a more even temperature. Check out one of the videos on screen now to continue learning HVAC engineering, as this is the end of this video. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, as well as the engineeringmindset.com.